The Bradley Center felt more like the Kohl Center Thursday afternoon as fans flocked down the road to Milwaukee to watch the Badger men's basketball team open up NCAA tournament play against American. I mean, uh, when we went on a few runs, it was it was great to have um, the crowd behind your back. It seemed like we were playing a home game a little bit there, and that, that's awesome to have. The Badgers needed all the help they could get early after American shot out to a 17-10 lead. The Badgers went more than five minutes without scoring at one point in the first half. When the team that has nothing to lose is up seven, what does the team with everything to lose feel like? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's the time. I felt like, you know, I was saying that was a, that was the type of feeling that we had last year. Um, you know, a team's coming in and they're not, you know, where they're, you know, supposed to win the game, rather. And, um, they were hitting shots. Like, they were they were feeling good. And, and you can't do that in this tournament if you want to win. Uh, it's too many crazy stuff that just happened. And, um, you know, I thought we did a good job of just getting them out of their comfort zone, making them take tough shots because they're a good team and they run their, their, their offense really well. And once we settled down and started playing well, I think that uh, it worked out well for us. Senior guard Ben Bruss led the way, hitting two three-pointers and scoring 11 of his 17 points over the final nine-plus minutes of the first half as the Badgers rallied for a 32-22 lead at the yeah, break. I mean, well, we've been through a lot as a team. Um, so, you know, through all of our experiences that we've been through, up or down or down 15 or whatever, whatever it is, I think we do a good job of rebounding from whatever it is. Frank Kaminsky, who scored the first three baskets of the game for the Badgers, played a big part in the comeback defensively. He led a team effort against Tony Roblicki, holding American's big man to just 11 points. I think he had the first three baskets, but was your bigger impact trying to take Roblicki out of the game and, and frustrate him? Yeah, you know, he, he was the center of their offense. Um, you know, he, he runs most of their plays, touches the ball for a majority of their plays. And, uh, you know, just trying to take him out of the game was part of our game plan. And I think in the second half, we were able to do that a little bit. The Badgers were just about unstoppable in the second half, shooting the ball at a 58% clip. They were 7 of 14 from beyond the arc and outscored American 43 13 to pull uh, I away. I mean, the ball in the hoop for us. You know, we were getting some good looks that first half. Just couldn't, couldn't get going. I don't know if it was jitters or anything. I don't think it was, but sometimes the ball doesn't fall. We were getting good looks, like I said, but um, once that started, when shots started to fall, we started to get a little more confident. You know, defensively, we started to string a few stops together and, and we kind of took off from there. This team is kind of Trayvon Jackson led the way for the Badgers with 18 points. Brust finished with 17 and Sam Decker chipped in 11 as UW improved to 27-7 and on the season. More importantly, the Badgers erased memories of last year's early NCAA tournament exit and now look forward to playing the Oregon Ducks on Saturday right back here at the Bradley Center. Yeah, I mean, I didn't like sending the seniors out like that last year. And uh, um, looking forward to, to Saturday and seeing if we can extend this even farther.